Carol, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Sorry about a little late. I just finished a, another interview. No, no worries. No worries. Thank you for making the time. I'm very excited to talk about this movie with you. Um, for you. this project, I know that you not only did you play a role in it, but you also worked as the wrestling coordinator on it. So how did this right. project come to you? You know, um, I was approached by Sean Durkin, the uh, director, the creator of the movie. Um, he kind of, kind of approached me and just had seen some of my other work, my for work on Glow and my work on, um, I believe, Young Rock. And uh, he reached out and we got in touch and I had a meeting with him and we had some coffee and I he was explaining his vision and his process and his idea for the movie. And after I found out it was about the Von Eric movie, who the Von Eric family, who was very close to my heart, you know, I grew up with them, but one of the other Texas wrestling families. Mm -hmm. um, God, yeah, it was kind of a no brainer. You know, I, I had to be a part of it. <clears throat> That's amazing. With the wrestling coordinating, um, how did you approach teaching each individual actor differently? Did you notice that each of them took direction in a different way? How was it to navigate um all of the, all of them separately and then all of them together? Well, yeah, sure. Any any good teachers <clears throat> can't teach one style to every one of your students in a sense. Mm -hmm. uh, you have you know you have to tailor it per student. You know, let's say if we're teaching math. Not everybody's going to be good at fractions. Not everybody's going to be good at right. division. You really have to, you know, tailor your teaching to them and show their strengths and hide their weaknesses. And that's kind of what we do in wrestling. So I d definitely did that here. Um, you know, getting every one of these wrestlers individually first and getting them familiar with the ring, finding out what they can and can't do. And that's when, after you do that, and then you can start marrying them together, you know, okay. and, in a perfect world, you want to be able to have a lot of time with them. But sometimes, you know, you're on a time constraints, you're on budget constraints. You know, actors have other projects they're doing. There's nothing they just have six free months that I can just train them. So right. sometimes it's such elevated, uh, fast, uh, abbreviated training, you know. So that's kind of what we had here a little bit. But um, I I think we we knocked out of the park, you know, especially with the, the heart work of these actors you know they came in there's a reason why zach and jeremy and holt and harris and stanley are where they are is because you know they they, they bring it every time it's not i never I, I not never once did i have to tell them okay guys get off your phones i stretch out mm. they were ready to go when it was time <clears throat> yeah it's amazing and i think you definitely saw that i mean when i saw the movie i'll admit that i'm very naive when it comes to the wrestling world um I didn't really watch it growing up, um, but w this movie really brought a new appreciation to the sport because it, that's really what it is. And I think growing right. up, I kind of just saw it as um, like, oh, you know, it's silly, it's theatrics, and you don't really know that there's so much heart behind it. And I think that's After what the movie, the movie did. It changes your view, though, doesn't it? One thousand percent. And you see the different dynamics of what actually wrestling is, and that's what a lot of you get from a lot of people. Once they get it, they get it. You know, right. it's like it's. For, for instance, it's like watching Vanderpump Rules said <laughs> to me. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm like, you know, I don't I don't watch that. I don't care. And then all of a sudden it's on the TV and I start watching. I go, ah, I get it. I see why you guys watch this now. Because I right. want to watch this episode too, you know. Right. That's, that's what, what wrestling does. It really does hook you. Um, but what did you think about the film? What did you think about the wrestling scenes? I loved the wrestling scenes. Um, it felt very being real to me. Fan, not being a wrestling fan, how a wrestler fan is either going to love it or hate it just because... That's who they are. They're going to say, oh, this was an authentic or this was great. But non-wrestling fan, I also want to hear, what did you think? So you know what I, uh, sur what surprised me about the film is that I found myself really connecting to the heart behind the actual wrestling. Um, there was a scene specifically in a diner, I think, that Zac Efron is having um, with, um, Oh my gosh, I forget her name, but Lily, the Lily James. His, his yes, so Lily James. Yes, yeah. um, and he's talking about the heart behind it and the fact that it's not just theatrics, and you know, there's a right. reason for these storylines. And I think that's the first time that it connected the fact that these are real people putting their heart into the sport and doing it a little bit more theatrically with a little bit more bright yeah. costumes. But at the end of the day, it's still putting on a show that is very much full of heart and soul. Yes. Right. 
And that's and that's what wrestling does. So we're kind of the only ones that that kind of admit it. Any other sport, if there's once you make one dollar for a sport, it's not a sport anymore. It's entertainment. And without that money coming in, you don't have a sport. Right. So you got as I say, like the UFC, you know, there's a lot of times I've seen a UFC fight and wanted to call Dana White and say, well, you owe me sixty nine ninety nine five because that was boring. <laughs> Right. But there's right. other times that you get guys like Conor McGregor come out and man, he's a showman and the fights are amazing. And you're like, wow, it's not the fight. It's the it's the it's the the show. You know, that's really what you're the, the you're that's what you're buying. And that's what we do in pro wrestling. Right. You know, I could watch Monday Night Football and be watching, you know, seven versus seven once a seven, a seven to seven game. And be like, oh, well, that was boring. And then I can watch games that are back and forth and keep going. And it's like, wow, what an amazing game. It's a show. It's the right. show. And that's what we do in pro wrestling. And I think that's what Sean Durkin um, captured in this movie. It's really, right. you know, those moves, those matches, they help tell the story. They're not the story themselves. Right. And in a, another movie that's got car crashes and explosions, those car crashes help tell the story, but they're not the story. So... Sean was really, really instrumental in knowing what he wanted and how, what he wanted for me to give him that what he can pick and choose to put in that in that film. Right, right. And I and I really did get that. Um, and I think you you said it perfectly. Is that wrestling something that I never thought of before? Is it really leans into the theater of it all? And, you know, as an outsider that maybe stumbled upon wrestling once or twice, like when my brother was watching it, you don't really grasp the the um reality in the theatrics sometimes. Like there there really is heart behind it. And I think Sean Durkin did do a beautiful job here in showcasing that there is heart in these people that are portraying these stories, but they're, you know, they they have real ambition and they have real goals and they get on that on that ring and they really um are trying to tell you a story that you are going to believe. Yeah, he's 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 a master. He's a master at what he does. So it was really cool working with him and learning from him. Really. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, it felt like a wonderful experience. Honestly, I enjoyed the movie so immensely. I think it's one of the, my favorite films of the year. I mean, this wow. one and Past Lives were my top two of the year, and I've been okay. telling you can tell my man, my managers in the office that I work at they're like okay enough we're gonna see it this weekend because I keep <laughs> telling them you have to go see this movie even if you know nothing about wrestling yeah. I think you'll leave understanding it a little bit more and kind of wanting to get into it yeah the story is amazing the story of the Vineric family their triumphs and their tragedies you know and how they uh, overcome adversities guys yeah, it's it's amazing it is. And there is a lot of heartbreak in this film. And that seems to be from the little bit of research that I've done since leaving, because again, I left the movie being like, now I need to know everything about this sport um, right. from the little bit that I know is it seems to be a common theme in a lot of wrestlers lives like heartbreak kind of is surrounds the sport a lot. Um which is really unfortunate because they bring out so much joy to the audience that watches it. Um, and I'm sure that there's a lot of perseverance, perseverance and camaraderie that we don't often get to see behind the scenes because I, I think a lot of times the stories revolve around the heartbreak. Um, and I just wanted to know if, you know, from your life in wrestling, not only in performing in it, but also working in movies like this and still continuing to tell these stories, uh, what are positive things that you take away from your world and your life in wrestling? You know, there's another um, show that I was the creator on, which is called Tales from the Territories, and that's on Vice. And, you know, there's a lot of tragedy in wrestling. There's a lot of people that, you know, harp on, you know, the the dark side, if you will, of wrestling, but that's 5% of wrestling. 95% yeah. of wrestling is awesome. And being yeah. in wrestling, there was 95% of it that was just amazing. Now, being on the road, being away from your family, you know, the, the your um, your pains and your, your injuries and loneliness on the road, yeah, it's tough. You know, that's really is tough. But then at the same time, you know, you're on the road with these brothers that are, that are your family it's uh it's 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 a pretty awesome sport that uh, business really that i uh that i was able to grow up in yeah i love that um okay and so j just to wrap up i know that you also come from a 
fairly famous family in wrestling as well. Um, and your uncle, you can say very, you don't say fair, you can say very definitely <laughs> famous family. Where every wrestling family thinks they're the best, so yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 very, no, very for famous sure. Famous. <laughs> I think you deserve, you deserve the your family deserves the flowers as well, which is why I, I was wondering. I, I saw, I looked up, um, your uncle Eddie Guerrero, and I know that there's a couple of documentaries about him, but I'm wondering if there's a world that exists where a film like this could be told about your family as well. I hear, I'm hearing that over and over and over again in these interviews that people are like, okay, where's the Guerrero family yeah. movie? Well, well, I was like, to what I said to everybody else, let's get to, we have the Von Erich movie right now, which is Iron Claw out in theaters tomorrow, yes. December 22nd. And uh, after we'll see the success of this movie, then maybe we'll dive into the Guerrero movie. But that's, uh, that's a little bit down the line. You know, very first thing is... Uh, this is setting the basis really for a lot of wrestling story movies because it's it's just so good. But also, we're all going to have to live up to this movie. It's going to be tough, you know? Right. So if there's a Guerrero movie, then I'm, I'm definitely going to want Sean Dorkin to, to uh, direct it. Right. No, he definitely did a great job. And I think, honestly, from, from my personal point of view, I think it's important to tell these stories, but... More than that, I think it's important to tell, you know, the Latino aspect of it. We don't see a mm -hmm. lot of this at the forefront. And, you know, we it's, it seems to be that we are involved in a lot of these stories about these prominent figures. And a lot of our stories are being told on the sidelines and we're helping out tell the story. And I think we need to be. I get that so much. And when Eddie and I were wrestling WWE, you know, we were following our family's footsteps and just wrestling, feeding our families. But once the Latino community started coming up to us and, you know, thanking us for, God, thank you for representing La Raza, for, for the culture that, that, we, that we are representing and we have. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of Hispanics in Hollywood, in, in sports. Mm -hmm. And they're like, God, you guys are doing, you're making us proud to be, you know, uh, Mexican-Americans and Mexicans. And once we started kind of hearing that, we started really changing the way we thought because we're like, we're not just feeding our families anymore, man. We're we're representing this the, our culture so right that's something that i'm very very big on i'm very big on on the representation of the good representation of latinos everywhere and that's something that i that's one of my passions right and i love that and i hope that you you realize and and you see that you're continuing that even with doing the wrestling coordinating here because i think it's important to know that our representation continues to be there even though the story is about that family um i think you know we're still here and we're still helping out and i think representation matters in any aspect that we are there in and to highlight that is very important so yeah well, hey that's my that's my catchphrase, my, the way I end every, every you know, a lot of interviews and and my and bottom of my email is always Viva la Raza. So that's something I always say, and uh, I actually trademarked it. So I love that. Yeah, that's that that's mine to uh, to use. So <laughs> wonderful. Well, I love that. Well, thank you so much for making time for me today. Um, okay. I am telling everybody to go watch the Iron Claw because it's a phenomenal movie. And you know, as a Latina myself, very proud to know that there was a Latino there on set you know making sure that all of the wrestling moves were done perfectly and to my naive eyes they look like they were and i'm sure to anyone else that watches they'll feel the same well there's some sprinkles some lucha libre in there so uh <laughs> love that, that little bit of liberty to sprinkle a little bit in there but uh that's that was for my uh for my people so thank you very much again for having me and thank you for the props of the movie december 22nd tomorrow yes. it's out in theaters everywhere iron claw 824 Please go watch it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good Thank day. You. Thank you again, and viva la raza. <laughs> Thank you.